I want to make this video on e-waste, uh, the boards, which is the, the most valuable part uh, of the majority of e-waste until you get into to some of the parts and stuff that comes from uh, computers. Now some of these boards I'm going to show you have been removed from computers, but the other parts have been uh, taken off of them. Now, like I said in other videos, you want to make sure whatever piece of equipment you're taking something out of that it has no... Uh, value as what it was intended for you. You don't want to go, uh, you know, take a computer or a DVD player or something like that that works that you can get a couple bucks at a uh, flea market or a yard sale or something like that and uh, and sell when it doesn't work. So all these have been removed from the items that have that didn't work at all. Uh, this first board I want to show you is probably one of the highest grade boards that, that I have here on on the table. Now this came out of a piece of telecommunications equipment. Uh, that was removed from a dumpster uh, from a local emergency services uh, place that was upgrading and threw some stuff out. I, I'm sure you're not going to be able to see real good on, on the video, but you can tell there's a lot of little processors on here, but if you can kind of turn it to the light, you can see every little exposed place in there has gold. And uh, your plugs and stuff going to have gold in them, so that's going to be a, a high grade, uh, you know, number one grade board there. And you can see some of the gold and, and stuff that's on the back of it. And, and that's probably the highest grade board down to probably the lowest grade board you see on the table. And you can see this is kind of a light tan brown on one side and green on the other side. It does have a, a one or two uh, processors on it, but this is a, a board that came out of the control panel uh, for a microwave. But that's still going to be a low grade board, uh, you know, maybe five anywhere from two or three cents to five cents a, a pound. Uh, other places that you can see a lower grade board, now this is a green board on both sides. Uh, this was removed from a, a, a police siren, I think is what it came out of. It does have some gold here on these uh, prongs that are that are sticking up. Or it might have been a police radio with that gold in it. Uh, so that's probably going to be a mid-grade board there. Now where I send mine to my local yard doesn't buy e-scrap, so I send my stuff uh, to a, a buyer online. And the good thing about them is you can shoot them a picture of what you've got, and usually within the same day or the next day, they'll send you back a, a good idea of what it's going to uh, earn per pound. Now these boards and pieces here came from a aftermarket car CD player, a higher grade uh, aftermarket to car CD player. And you can tell there's some processors, a lot of stuff going on on these boards. And the more processors and things you see on a board, generally uh, the higher price it's going to bring. And uh, these have some gold on them. Uh, this is where those face plates uh, fit back together. You know, you can have those removable face plates on a CD player. Those have got gold on them. Uh, this is the board with some processors that sit on top and actually read the CD that you have in the unit. And this, is, of course, is the face paste board uh, that fits back up and it does have some gold on it. My buyer right now is the end of May 2014. These are bringing about $1.60 a pound. And the number one grade boards are bringing anywhere from $2.60 to $3.20 a pound. Uh, this is also another board that, that came out of a piece of telecommunications equipment. And these are the type of boards that you want to just uh, snap a picture of and send to your buyer, or uh, you know, if you if your local yard does it, just take it to them and say, hey, you know, what what's going on with this board? Because it looks like it's got gold all over it, but uh, it's a, a very light color gold, so I'm not sure. So anyway, I sent that a picture to my buyer, and that's another mid grade board, around the, uh, about a dollar and a half, dollar sixty a pound. Now this board here is, is a, a a higher grade board. Uh, almost number one grade or, or highest grade, whatever you want to call it. Now this is a board that came out of a, a home uh, DVD player, uh, but it's been cracked there on the side, and that's uh, some damage that uh, I, I don't know happened to the DVD player before I ever picked it up. A lot of times, if you if there's damage to a board or for something missing off of it, unless they shred or something, it'll reduce the value of the board. And of course, this is another. Uh, board that came out of a piece of telecommunications equipment. You don't see as much of the gold in it, uh, but like I said, again, there's a lot of stuff going on. It's a real uh, uh, populated board, so that's, uh, that's again, going to be moving up towards the higher end uh, 
uh, price paying for a board. Now here's a board that's kind of in between. It's, it's green on one side, of course it's dirty here from the piece of electronics that I got out of the, the throwaway pile. But it's got some things going on. That's probably going to be just a little bit higher than a low grade. It really all depends. Most of the time I'll just put it in with my low grade to kind of build that pile up. Uh, this is a, uh, a board that came from a home satellite receiver you know like Dish Network or Direct TV or something that's got a pretty good processor you can probably see a little gold there on the side of that it's got a lot going on most places that's going to be at one of your higher paying boards and obviously this is a board out of a computer the, the processor and stuff has been removed from it uh, It these typically are the highest paid uh, boards uh, because of what's going on but a lot of times if you remove the, the uh, processor uh, different places uh, re will reduce the value of the board and obviously this is another board out of a computer you can see the gold uh, uh, teeth there where it slides down in for things to uh, uh, attach to it and I'm not going to go into what this is for and, and uh, that's a totally separate video we're just kind of talking about boards and how to be able to look at them and so basically any type of board that comes out of, out of a computer is going to be on the higher end, especially if you see some gold in it. Now, a lot of people will just cut these off, and, and you know they may be able to process them themselves, or they can group them together. If you if you sell stuff on eBay, which I I don't, you can get that stuff together. I, I just put my stuff in one pile, and it goes to the uh, uh, my e scrapper that way. This is another board out of a computer. You can see a little faint uh, gold there on on the uh, prongs and on the teeth. Uh, so those are, and same thing in here, that uh, you've got everything ready, that's that's gold, and it's a processor or two, you just keep that aside, and, and it doesn't take long, most most uh, e-board or e-waste processors online want you to have or send them about 60 pounds worth of stuff, and that helps cover the shipping, and, and then you get your money back. Most of those places will either send you a check, or they will uh, pay you through PayPal. So anyway, that's just a little bit of a quick uh, uh, idea about boards and, and what some of the value is. I'll be happy to answer any questions if you want to, uh, you know, send me a question or whatever on that. I'll, I'll try to help you out the, the best I can. So uh, anyway, that's just a little bit on boards, and uh, thanks for watching, and happy scrapping.